Spiegel out craft beer glasses. Marketing gimmick or handy craft beer tasting tool. So these craft beer glasses from Spiegel out have been around for a couple, good couple of years now. And in some bars they crop up. I mean, in Brewdog bars, they, they have a branded Jackhammer one of the IPA one and all that sort of thing. So they've been around for a little while. And I've sort of used them before, but this is the first set that I've owned. All I'm interested in is, does it make the beer experience better or does it not even matter? And are they just nice glasses? Let's find out. Okay, so we have, firstly, the American Wheat Beer Glass. This one, ribbed for my pleasure. The, ooh, the IPA glass. And lastly, we have the, you guessed it, Spiegelau Stout Glass. Let's get rid of this box for a second. And all this paper. Wow. So here we are, the glasses, each time for a specific style of beer. So yeah, first thing you notice about Spiegel glasses is just how thin and lightweight they are. And that's all on purpose. You can tell they're just good quality, really lovely things to hold, and quite nice things to look at. A bit different. And that brings me on to my first sort of point about them, is I just like the aesthetics of them. I think craft beer is just mega, mega fun. It is just the funnest drink in the world to me. I just, I, every time I go to a craft beer place, I just have the most fun in the world. And good glassware, or unique glassware, adds to the experience, even if it doesn't do anything to the flavour. I mean, a point of example is the first time a lot of people will be experienced with these, but the quack glass. It just adds to the experience. Drinking out of something like this is all just fun. So drinking out of something a bit different is mainly what I think these are. They, they are. they are just nice, aesthetically pleasing, high quality glassware. But do they do anything to the flavour of a beer? Do they change it? I've heard some people say that sometimes um, because I mean, the IPA glass as the main example is the most commonly used one. People say it actually intensifies the hop aromas too much. It's, it, it sort of like just masks everything else. That's one criticism I've heard of these, but there's only one way to find out. So I t when I taste beers for the channel and in a lot of uh, craft beer places, they just have snifter glasses, tulip glasses, uh, some have tikus. Um, so I thought I'd do a comparison on my usual tasting glass to the IPA tasting glass and see if there's any discernible difference. So yeah, side by side comparison, the IPA glass, speaker glass and my normal tasting snifter glass. Let's put it on there. I have a can of two oils, Thirsty Frontier, which is a session IPA. So I mean, the speaker glasses are all designed to sort of aid head retention, keep the, keep it con the head constantly generated. And they have sort of like an etched bottom. Uh, laser etched bottom, they have these ribs, uh, just the way the glass is held, it's designed to keep optimum temperature, it's designed to aid mouthfeel, it's designed to push the aroma to the top, it's... So there's a lot of thought that's gone into it, or is there? Is it all just a load of bullshit? Okay, so first things first on the realist. And I must say this, uh, my snifter glass actually does have sort of like a an etched bottom as well, so it's actually quite a good comparison really. And also with the Spigo glasses, apparently they're lead-free, really pure glasses, zero imperfection, well, uh, very low imperfections. Okay, so the two beers in the glass then. You can clearly tell, well, you might not be able to tell, but the Spigo glass has just a much tighter, whiter, uh, frothy head, whereas the, uh, the Snifter glass here is very loose, bigger bubbles, and it's dissipating quite quickly, whereas the Spiegel glass, it's all sticking around. I mean, in terms of colour, they're pretty damn similar. It's not going to change the colour. Uh, but let's have a little sniff. Okay, that is quite interesting. There's not a huge difference. It's not like this one smells completely different to this one. Very similar. But what I am definitely getting is the this really citrus, tangy hop aroma is bursting out of this glass way more, the Spiegelau glass. It sort of stings the nostrils more. This is quite light, sort of quite almost like got a lemony wheat beer type 
25, whereas this is stinging citrus. Not a huge difference. You're not going to smell it in if you had this glass in a pub and go, oh, I wish that was in a Spiegel glass. Let's, try, let's have a little taste. Again, not a huge difference, but there is some very subtle, subtle differences. The main, the main difference for me is actually the mouthfeel. This actually feels thinner. It's marginal, but this, the Spiegel glass, definitely does enhance the mouthfeel. Not a huge difference again. It's very subtle, but definitely noticeable. In terms of taste, I mean, it's not changed the actual flavours of, of, of the beer. They taste identical. But, and this is the point I was sort of making earlier, if I was in a craft beer bar, if I was around someone's house, anywhere enjoying a beer, and they served me a beer in the snifter glass, I'd say, well, thank you very much, I can't wait to enjoy this beer. Yeah, I'm pleased and thank you, that's what I'd say. And, but if they, if... They served it to me in this. It's just instantly more appealing to me. It's just a bit of fun. It's weird. Looks cool. A bit of a talking point. And I enjoy the beer just as much. So do they enhance the beer tasting experience? For me, in terms of aroma and taste, it can be a good or a bad thing to enhance like, certain different characteristics. You might not necessarily be getting a truly objective form if it's in the Spiegel glass um, but what I do think they enhance is just the general beer drinking experience they are just a bit of fun something cool something nice to hold and that's about it on that so thanks for watching and if you like this sort of video please leave a comment if you don't want me to waffle on about this shit because it's just my opinion then don't worry don't watch it mate but I'd love to, I'd love to hear from you, and uh, yeah. So leave a comment. Do you like Spiegel glasses? Do you think they make no difference whatsoever? Do you think they make a huge difference? And I'm just not picking it up. Tell me about it, please. So I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.